What is up guys, today I'm going to be talking about the purpose on why they have play types in Shinobi Striker, and yeah, let's get into it. So the reason why I'm making this video is because in my last video, someone commented that they don't like how there's types in this game, they'd like to combine a Rasengan with their character and a Fireball Jutsu, which I get that, but there's a reason, and a huge reason why they have play types in this game. It's for balancing purposes, because if you think about it, if they just let everyone use every Jutsu in the game, everyone would be well in this beta let's just go off of what they had in the beta so in this beta everyone would have been using a sand shield and a fireball jutsu so everybody would be using literally the same exact jutsus maybe some people would have taken one of those out and used a healing jutsu but let's just be real like everyone would be using one of those few jutsus now there's two fireball jutsus so you probably just choose whichever one you like more whether it's the phoenix fire style jutsu or sasuke's just generic fireball jutsu they're very similar it's just what you prefer more everybody would be using at least one of those jutsus probably all four of them in some way shape or form whether it's the sand shield and a fireball jutsu sand shield and a healing jutsu both fireball jutsus a fireball jutsu and a healing jutsu either way those would be the most popular jutsus that people use in that beta now every game balances certain playstyles in some way shape or form like okay i'm gonna be using a few examples so first example i'm gonna be using is storm it's not really that big of like an example but like this is just kind of basic i'm sure all of you guys have played storm or at least will understand what i'm talking about so let's say eno is going up against madara now eno she's obviously way weaker than madara in every way shape or form and Madara is um, super OP. Now, let's say Madara, you choose him to have a Fireball Jutsu. I'm pretty sure he has multiple Jutsus, but let's just say you make him use a Fireball Jutsu. Eno, I'm pretty sure your only option is the Flower Bomb Jutsu. Now, you guys can test this yourselves, but if you make those two Jutsus collide, the Flower Bomb Jutsu will fly straight through the Fireball and hit Madara. I'm not kidding. You guys can test it yourselves if you don't believe me. Now, this is just like an example of balancing. This is a very small example of Storm. Now, Madara still has a huge advantage. He's just a better um, character in Storm than Eno is. I don't know where she ranks as far as being a good character in Storm, but I'm 99% sure she's bottom tier and Madara is definitely somewhere towards the top. That's just a tiny little thing that Eno has over Madara. Now, that makes absolutely no sense that a flower bomb would st fly straight through a fireball jutsu from Madara, which it takes a whole entire army of people using a water style jutsu to burn out his fireball jutsu, and Eno's tiny little flower bomb jutsu would cancel out that. So, that's just a tiny little balancing thing that Storm has for Eno and Madara going up against each other. Now, it's not really that like big of a deal it's just kind of an advantage that they give Eno even though that's not like really a huge advantage Madara is obviously still at a huge advantage against Eno now another example that I'm going to be using is Smash Bros I think Smash Bros does an amazing job with balancing if you've never played Smash Bros you've got your lightweight characters your medium weight characters and your heavyweight characters Smash Bros does an extremely well job with balancing all of these they do an extremely well job balancing speed strength and weight and all of these the heavyweight characters are obviously Obviously gonna be slow but they're gonna be a lot stronger than the rest but they're also heavy to knock off the stage but keep in mind their speed is gonna play a huge factor into the game the lightweight characters obviously they're light easier to knock off the stage and they're faster they're also weaker than the heavyweight characters the medium weight characters are obviously they're just a perfect balance some of them are faster than others some of them are stronger than others the medium characters are just the most balanced in between those two weight classes I think Smash Bros does a very good job if you've played Smash Bros you know exactly what I'm talking about and yeah so now going back to Shinobi Striker every game has balancing it they have to do this for balancing reasons and just variety it make more people be using different jutsus like in this beta you saw people being range players you saw people being defense players you saw people being healers if they didn't have that everyone would be doing the same few jutsus and you wouldn't be seeing that much variety so that's pretty much it for this video guys hopefully that cleared everything up if you didn't understand why there were play types in shinobi striker hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time